All right, hello everybody. Okay, so uh, don't know whether you can tell at the moment, but we're actually just sitting in the front yard in the trailer sailor. I thought it would add to the video if I was in here for some reason. Uh, uh, this video is about setting up the trailer sailor, the Sonata 7. Now, that this video is really just for this boat and how I do it. You, you may find a different method. You may need to find a different method because the mast might be too heavy for you. But this is how I do it. Um, I'm going to show you putting the sails kind of up as well. Quite often I don't even put the sails up because uh, we might just need to put the boat in and go for a 45 minute drive and we're down at the sand islands and you know sometimes the kids don't want to sail around, sometimes the wind's coming directly from where you want to go to so you don't want to spend yeah three or four hours trying to get to your destination, you just want to get there so the kids can have fun. But nonetheless, um, this is the method that as I said is I think the quickest method to get you in the water uh, is safely and so that you can start enjoying, you know, the beautiful times, the good times. Anyway, check it out. If you like what you see, please subscribe. There's plenty of other videos coming. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right. So when we are traveling, I just have the mast tied up at the front and the rear. Uh, and I have the furler sort of laid down the side of the boat, just inside the lifelines. And then it sort of curls around the back of the boat, uh, just inside the engine. Now, after untying the mast, I need to walk it forward. Um, now, I do need to apply a little bit of pressure to the bottom of the mast because it is a little bit um, sort of um, front or top heavy there. Uh, not, it's not too difficult though. And there is a bolt that, as you can see, uh, that I attach to the bottom of the mast attach and attach that, that attaches it to the boat. And then it basically just pivots on that one bolt um, until the mast is standing. There's no other bolt or there's no second bolt. There is a hole for a second boat, but I think that's if you are going to um, uh, raise the mast from the rear of the boat. Anyway, now this is the bit that is going to be different for some people. My mast is just light enough to lift up without needing to create an A-frame and having a winch sort of going up and over the A-frame to sort of uh, winch the mast up. Now this obviously cuts a lot of time off having to set all of that up if you, if you can actually just lift it up. So maybe just check it out and see if you can, um, you know, if you're strong enough to do that. Um, to stop the mast from falling backwards, I have attached a halyard to the front of the boat. I actually leave this permanently attached. Once standing, I take the back stay and walk it to the stern of the boat, and I have just a little bit of a, a hook to quickly just secure it in place. I then walk to the front and secure the furler. There's a little bolt with a swivel thing on the end, who knows what it's called, and that passes through the bottom of the furler and through this sort of plate there with all the uh, six mil plate or so with all those holes through it. Uh, so it's slightly adjustable there. I then return to the stern of the boat and you can see the backstay splits into two with a pulley. Uh, I attach two D shackles to the rear chain plates, if that's what you call them. Uh, I can then tighten the backstay to provide some tension on the rig. I don't need to tighten the rigging that comes down to the sides. Uh, it does feel relatively firm. There's a bit of tension on it just naturally. Um, but yeah, it seems to be that that seems to be all it is to really put the put the mast up. So this brings us to the furling head sail. And this is a bit of a jury rig here. Um, I think my furler is is a bit old, so I've had to basically put a pulley at the very top of the firm furler. But anyway, anyway, the rope runs up the top of the furler through this pulley and then straight back down and is attached to the sail. I can then pull the rope. I'll call that rope the furler halyard. I then pull on the rope which raises the sail. This rope loops through a D shackle at the bottom of the furler uh, with the leftover furler halyard. I then make my favorite little sort of truckies loop on the rope, which then allows me to go up and down um, with the leftover furling halyard uh, rope line so that uh, when it is furled, the rope doesn't wind around anything and get all caught up. Um, as you can see, it's sort of tied off there at the bottom. So that sort of it keeps all of the rope, I guess, on the halyard so that um, yeah, it can be raised and lowered and it can, it can spin and everything without any difficulties. Once the head sail is up, I can pull the furling line and furl the sail. Uh, you need to make sure, of course, the sail, is, the sail is well wrapped up with a good couple of loops around the sail with the lines so that the furling line has enough turns on the furler to furl the sail. Uh, when you do pull it out, or furl it back up that is. Uh, this furling line goes through a pulley midway up the boat and back to the cockpit and I can secure that in place. 
The lines for the head sail go around the outside of the lifelines. Um, it's obviously it's a relatively narrow boat. Uh, through the pulley and I tie a knot in them to stop them from being pulled out accidentally. Uh, sorry for the second rate footage here and it's only footage of dismantling the boom and mainsail. I quite often don't set up the boom and mainsail, especially if I'm just going down to the sand islands which are only sort of a 45 minute motor from the boat ramp. Uh, to set up the boom though, I first attach a st the stern end of the boom uh, to a cable that hangs off the backstay. I can then attach the front of the boom which sort of holds the boom relatively uh, horizontal. For Melody Maker, I need to attach the rear of the mainsail first and it's got a little uh, thing that goes in a groove on the actual boom. Uh, and then feed the cars into the track that's on the mask to, to go up the mast. From there it's a simple hoist on the halyard to raise the sail and don't forget to unattach the wire coming from the backstay um, to hold the boom in place. Of course there's also the, the main sheet, uh, you know the rope that goes down in the pulley which basically applies tension to the mainsail um, but you probably know enough about sailing to understand that that needs to be there as well. Okay, well that just about does it for setting up this uh, Sonata 7 trailer sailor. As I said at the start, it may not be the method for everybody, but it's what I've found gets me in the water in the shortest time possible, um, so I can start enjoying the good life. Anyway, I hope you liked that uh, video, and um, that's it. Subscribe and check out the other stuff we're putting up. What is it, kids? What have you found? Hey. Mm. Oh, a map. A what? Wait, can you just, um... A map I'll walk. Yeah. Oh dear. I'll bring it over to the table. We'll put it on the table flat so we can read it. Can you want me to read it? Rubbish. Okay, here it is. That's on the other side of the island. Ahoy me mateys. I be Pirate Lee Mackey of Pirate Island. Here is a treasure map of my chocolate treasure. Hidden under X marks the spot. The scallywags who find my bounty should keep it safe in their bellies until I return. Pirate El Mackey. So this must be the sand island. There's water. Let's go! Water. There's the pirate base. Is that your base? Yes. Yes. And then over here, yeah, the there's right an there. X the under old... the old E, under the old E fire spot. Has there been a, is there a fire up I'm on the hill? Over. Let's go! Right, so we've got to find X. X marks the spot. No, it said an old fire base. What about over the, over? Is that where a fire's been? There's the water. So it was next to the water, wasn't it? So what does the map say? There's the X. Now hang on, look look at the map. It says under the old E fire spot. Do you think it's under it? Maybe. How will we get under it? Oh, what? Hang on, what what a Cooper, what's this over here? Chocolate! What? Yeah. A chocolate bounty? Daddy, you actually just Whoa. put it there. When? Yeah, I actually do I know I wouldn't that. have done that. Like, I figured that out. Oh. When, when, I, when I saw the map, I figured that out. Oh, Should we take it down and eat it? Yes! What are you waiting for? What are you Daddy? Yeah? Well, it's not like long thing. Well, not that long, but not what? I mean, not wide. The TV snacks. TV. So are they just normal, normal chocolate? Yep. You'd like them. Okay, well that's it. The, the, the pirate letter did say to keep it safe in your bellies. No way. Wow. 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 What a, oh, yeah, I what a pirate you. bounty. Oh. Mm -hmm. breakfast.
Yep. 